Okay, so picking up right where we left off. So I'm really, really excited to be getting this interior in. Uh, don't worry, all this glowstone is very temporary. Uh, it's very <laughs> dark in here otherwise, so. Uh, that's just so I can see and kind of figure out how I want to plan this out. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and I think I'm going to clean all this up. Like I've got really rough edges here and I need to figure out where exactly the wall is going to be coming in. Uh, as you can see I used full glass blocks here. So I'm going to go ahead and double layer all of these walls. I definitely want to get some good cross beams going on up here so I need to clean up the roof a lot. Uh, a lot of plans at this area. I'm going to go ahead and clean up at least the roof and these walls. Right, so this is already looking a lot better here. So I've double layered all of the walls. I've brought in some pillars here to separate them a little bit. I don't actually know what this is called. I'm just gonna call it the platform because yeah, it's a stage, but I feel like stage is too modern. So I'm just gonna call it the platform. Uh, I've got most of that done. Still not too sure how I wanna do the roof here. And I think I might just continue the andesite up and over all the wood because I don't know that I love the wood above that. This front area is still a mess. I've definitely got plans to kind of section this off where the tower comes down and have like a little entryway um, and we'll see what we can do with that. But right now what I want to figure out is how I want to do these windows because as you can see on the outside they've got a nice little arch to them to keep them from looking like big rectangles. So I think what I'm going to do to fix that is kind of give it that same arch here on this side. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So I've just gone with this pretty simple arch here. So I think what I want to work on next is getting this entryway sorted out because it's still looking quite a mess. So I think if I maybe just continue this wall out to maybe about there and then something like that. And then we can have entryway, I'm thinking, out this way and over here as well. And then I say we open this up maybe about that much. So this will be a nice arch, I think, going up like that. And then we'll continue the tower up above that. So I got the entryway all finished up and I think it's looking really cool. So on this side, I think I'm going to do a staircase here. It's kind of an awkward space, it's going to go right against the glass, but you know what, I'm going to make it work. And that's going to go up to the second level there, which I'm not entirely sure what I'll do up there. And then on this side, I've kind of gone with a little confessional booth kind of a thing. So I need to put another chair in here, but basically the priest would be sitting here, you know. And I left it open just because I thought it added a little bit of variation, and it's kind of nice to be able to see through here. But basically the priest or the person would sit here and the priest would probably sit here. That way it's a little anonymous. And then I've done these cross beams here, which I think look really cool. So I'm gonna duplicate those, I think, throughout the rest of these and see what that looks like. And then I'll go from there. So yeah, I'm gonna start building those cross beams. Okay, that's looking really good. Wow, look at that. That looks really cool. I don't like the way that this looks here, so I think I'm going to design another smaller beam like this to go across, uh, just to fill in that space a little better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Now I want to work on this mess here. I think I'm just going to enclose it off with like an andesite dome kind of a thing. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. And this room is really starting to come together. Before I start adding the details like the benches and such, I wanna work on tying this in. So just building up a staircase and then getting that area up there all figured out. Okay guys, quick cut, uh, real talk now. So as you all know, Minecraft 1.19 just released. And well, what that means is forget this, as cool as the interior of this church looks, it can wait. There is a lot of new things to explore now, new blocks to recover, and I'm in a bit of an exploring mood. So taking our attention away from the church, let's go find some of the new update. So I guess the first thing I need to do, uh, I'm definitely going to restock on food. Maybe that's the first thing I'll do. But the second thing I'm going to do is figure out how exactly do I find these deep dark cities. Gearing up for these ancient cities, I guess I'm going to craft a bunch of torches because I know I'm going to want those. It's dark down there. 
Also, I think it would probably be smart and beneficial to craft some night vision potions because, well, that is even better than torches. Maybe I'm a little overprepared. You can never be overprepared. To find the new stuff, I'm gonna have to pass over what I've already rendered in before. And this general direction, I believe, is the area I've least explored up to this point. So I think if I travel in this direction, I'm more likely to find some of the new generations faster. So I'm just gonna fly out roughly in this direction until I find either a mangrove swamp or any big caves that I can quickly kind of look in, look through, and see if I can spot a city. Here we go. Hey, this cave looks like it could be promising. Guys, you aren't going to believe it. So I've been searching quite a few caves now. I think this is probably my fourth or fifth one. I'm way far out um, from my base, so I'm definitely in ungenerated territory. And I saw this diamond, caught my eye. Let's just grab that real quick. Yeah, just one. Anyway, then I look down here. That. And my Optifine unfortunately doesn't work, so I can't zoom in due to it not being the latest version anymore. But that looks like an ancient city if I've ever seen one, so let's get a closer look at that. Oh yeah, that's definitely one. I think we're good, okay. Let's have a little spawn hub right here. Okay. And just so I can make sure I can find it. That way I also know that that way is my way out. All right. And by the way, guys, I have not played any snapshots for this. I have not watched any gameplay for this. I am going into this absolutely blind, literally. So let's fix that here for a second. All right. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I know these guys emit sound, and that's what'll summon the warden, so. Oh, there one is. Okay, I definitely need to take that out. Actually, I think these are the ones that summon the warden. But I don't think any of these guys can alarm anyone. So let's check this chest. Wow, I haven't gotten this disc yet. Oh, cool, I'm definitely taking that. Looting three, why not? Swift Sneak 3, perfect. I want these candles, because I'm going to use them to decorate the church. Disc Fragments, I'm not sure what those are, but I'm guessing that you could craft a disc. Uh, we'll take the bones, and we'll leave the rest. So I have no idea where chests spawn in these cities, and what the unique loot is for them. Obviously those disc fragments are unique, uh, I've never seen that before. Um, I wish I had Optifine, it looks like there's something interesting over that way. Okay, I think we're good to start walking. Oh look, there's one right in front of me. I think we're good. You can never have enough candles. Look, there's more diamonds up there. I totally missed those. Alright, let me just mine up some deep slate so I can get up there. crap. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Oh, guys. Oh, I don't like this. I can't see anything. Oh, I don't like this at all. Is he smelling me? Oh, he totally is. Oh yeah, he is. Okay, let's uh... Oh jeez. Oh, he's coming. Can he get up here? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I've angered him. <gasps> no way.
He literally just hit me through a wall. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Oh no. Oh no, don't spawn another one. Oh, I just spawned another one. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I'm gonna spawn another one. <laughs> oh no, get me out of here. Get me out of here. The diamonds aren't worth it. Oh no. I'm out of night vision potions. Oh my gosh. Oh no, guys. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Where are my torches? <gasps> oh my gosh. I can't, I can't get my torches. I can't see anything. Oh my. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have any blocks to tower up. Oh my gosh, guys. I almost just died. I almost just died. And now I have no idea where I am. I need to get out of here. Well, that was terrifying. So that was a ton of fun to raid that ancient city, and I got so much good loot out of it. So check this out. I got that Swift Sneak 3 book, which goes on your leggings, which is unexpected. I thought for sure it would go on the boots very fast when we sneak. Man, I wish I had had these equipped while I was in the ancient city. That would have helped out a lot. Now, we also got this recovery compass, which I'm not 100% sure it does but it's pointing me in that direction which is towards spawn yeah spawns right on the other side of that mountain so that might be what it's pointing me to ah, or it's pointing me to the last place I died which I'm pretty sure is what this does uh, maybe if you haven't died once you've crafted it uh, then it points towards spawn I don't know or maybe the last time I died was over in that direction and then we got this music disc out of those music disc fragments that we found, uh, which is what we just listened to. I really don't recommend you listening to it. And then we got a ton of other loot, a bunch of diamond stuff. We found a bunch of diamonds just lying around the ancient city and the ceiling and the floor. It's like the, the loot was amazing, super, super OP. And I guess it's fitting to have that good of loot when that area is, is, is as hard as it is to navigate. Anyways, I'm really glad to be alive, and now I really want to go find a mangrove swamp. So I think I'm going to grab some more rockets, and then just head out in a different direction, because I never actually saw any swamps going out that way. Uh, so maybe I'll go out that way. I don't think I've explored much out that way either. This is what I'm super excited for. Uh, just looking at some of the pictures of the mangrove swamps, they look so beautiful. Uh, I'm not really sure all the different blocks they added. I haven't, like I said, I haven't played any of the snapshots, haven't watched any gameplay footage. I've really just seen bits and pieces here and there, and I know that the mangrove swamps are incredibly beautiful. And of course, I could use a lot of those blocks in my building. So I'm going to go sleep, get some rockets, and go find a mangrove swamp. So I'm in a pillager outpost right now, and I just remembered, uh, I totally forgot that the alleys are in the game now. I can't believe I forgot about them. And I think they can spawn uh, these little cages. Come on, get out of here. I'm trying to record. Anyways, so I know they can spawn here. Um, I just didn't get lucky this time. Oh wow, a goat horn. That's new. Come on. What? I declare I am the god of war with all of these arrows sticking out of me. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Uh, well, I guess there's different goat horns that spawn too. So we've got kind of a new collector item to try and get all of them. Uh, and I got the sing one. So in my travels to try and find a mangrove swamp, I'm definitely going to be looking out for these outposts. One, to see if I can find an alley, and two, I really want all of these goat horns. Alright, let's keep looking. Okay, so on my adventures, I've just come across another pillager outpost, and do you see that? I see at least two of them. 
they're oh they're so cool the way they glow they look like little phantoms I definitely want those for my base so I'm gonna release them and figure out how to tame them I'm not even actually sure if you can tame them hopefully you can I didn't bring any leads with me so if I have to lead them back I will and that's gonna be a really long journey back that way uh, but we can manage before I release them I'm gonna do the smart thing and look up how to tame them because I don't want them to just fly away and then I never see them again okay so I looked it up and it's really easy it seems like they're the easiest mob to tame oh wow they make really cool noises don't worry guys I'll protect you all you need to do is give them an item so if I give them a golden carrot oh, no, no no come back then they should be yeah yeah they should be following me hold on if I go further oh yes they are oh and look who showed up just in time yeah don't run from me you already know what time it is give me those leads okay let's get out of here before my alleys get shot in the crossfire Wow, words can't describe how cool this is. I can pretty much just sprint in a straight line, and they'll never not be able to catch up with me. Uh, but when I use rockets, their tracking is still really good. So if I like rocket it over to that mountain, well, maybe not quite that far. But let's say I rocket to here, which was still pretty far. Okay, well. So that didn't work. Where's the other one? There it is. So I can't really use too much rockets. I can really just jump from spaces like this. Anyway, I'm kind of running out of rockets as it is. I definitely should have brought a lot more for this journey. I didn't think it would take me this long. Um, but I'm not giving up on this mangrove swamp. I can smell it. It's nearby. Wow, that's beautiful. So I just came across my first mangrove swamp, and wow, this looks so amazing. Wow guys, look how cool it is in here. I know it's really dark, it's just turning night. It looks like an enchanted forest or something. Oh, it's, this is beautiful. But can we talk about this mud block? Oh, I love it. I'm thinking of so many ideas and cool things that I can use this for. You know, muddy kind of things. I have my whole inventory to fill up and the shulker box, so I better get to work. So I know I've gone a little overboard maybe with the new trees, but those mangrove trees are so cool. They are easily my new favorite Minecraft tree uh, by a long shot. So used to actually having to make custom trees in order for the Minecraft trees to look good. Yes, I'm looking at you, Oak Forest. So that's always kind of limited me on my forest making and where I want to place forests until these trees came along. So I think it actually looks really cool having that area forested back there. But then this area, I really just went crazy on and I kind of want to come through with the mud block as well. Oh, that was kind of a hard landing. But I really like this forest vibe it's got. It doesn't look like a swamp, and I know that these are a swamp tree, but I think they work just as well to make a nice, dense, fantasy kind of looking forest. And just take a look at this pathway coming up from my main base and going into the forest. I just, I think this looks so cool, adds a lot of atmosphere, uh, a lot of character to where this before was all obviously just flat. But, and then you see the church peek through there. I wanted to leave that gapped a little bit. And then you go down here and the church and the village kind of fully come to a, a clearing. And I think visually that looks really cool. And then over here, I've got the tree root going over the pathway, which just adds a lot of life, a lot of character. And I think it's really cool. And then boom, we are down into the village. So I think I want to add a house here and that'll kind of bring this area out a little bit and it'll kind of stretch the village out this far, which I think will be great. 
And then for future plans, I think I want to extend the village out that way more. So I've got my road marked out here. I've got this village that I've been procrastinating, tearing the rest of it down, but I need to tear all that down. Fix this landscape and then bring in the village. I don't know how far in I want to go with it, but you know, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. That's kind of how I like to build. And then I found some really cool uses with the mud block. This block honestly might be my new favorite block in the game. So I've kind of tried to put little mud pits where you've got a valley in the roof. So when it would be raining, naturally it would want to go down the valley and kind of pile up here. So I've got a little bit of mud here. And then going up this way, I really, really love the look of the mud brick. It just brings a whole nother texture, kind of a sandstony texture, but a lot better in my opinion because it blends in with the grays, I think, really well. So for future uses with this block, I think I'm going to use them as like wall separators and retaining walls and stuff, just so that I'm not going overboard with the stone. And I just really love the color and texture of these blocks, so I'm going to be using those a lot in the future. As you can see here, I've got a big mud pile right here where this valley in the roof is, so the water would come down. And I just think these add a lot of detail to the area. Right here, I did a little landslide kind of a thing. So we got the path up here, and then the pathway is kind of fallen down that way. And I've got the mud. And then I added the tough block kind of surrounding the mud a little bit, because I think it looks kind of like a dried mud. I think the textures and colors go pretty well together. I've decided to, for now, store my alleys in here. I've just tied them up to these fence posts. I did have them just floating around the house freely on their own. I noticed one of them flying here and it started burning in the campfire. So I figured I'd tie them up so that they don't kill themselves. But I think eventually I want to give them, I think, like cool cells that I can keep them in. I don't know, at some point. So for now, I'll just store them in here. Okay, so I'm going to give a little break to planting a forest and move the attention back in here with the church. I'm so close to finishing, and so I'm just going to finish the rest of it out. It shouldn't take me long. Okay, welcome back, guys. So I have finished the entire interior of the church. But this is just the inside. We got all of our pews here. And then right here in the back, I put the staircase. I managed to fit one in here. That goes all the way up to the bell tower. Now uh, we got some seating up here. This is where the guy would be able to pull the chain and ring the bell above. So that's what that is. Um, we just got a nice view over the rest of the church here. Yeah, that's pretty much it in here. This was a ton of fun to build the interior and I really like the way it turned out. And I tried to go pretty heavy with the new blocks. So I used a lot of the mangrove wood. Um, that wood is so annoying to gather. Like. Literally, you get more roots than you do the actual wood. But I like the way that this house fills in this area here. It kind of stretches the village out this far now. Um, so that little house actually kind of did a lot, I think. And so this little house here would be the farmer who tends to this field here. As you can see around front here, I've also got an area for animals. Uh, I'm thinking a little barn in here or something. And then we got some storage out to this side. So I really, really love this mud block texture. <laughs> I've gone ahead and actually added it in a few other areas in the village, which I'm going to show you right now. But I just, I, it's one of my new favorite blocks for sure. I like it so much. I love the earthy tone to it. And I really like this contrast with the mangrove wood and the mud block. So I'm probably going to be using this a whole lot in the future. You can see we got our little winding path there that goes up to the church, uh, all mud brick heavy. And I think it looks great. It blends in with the, the rest of the earth really well, but it also stands out. Right up here, up this path, I've changed the blacksmith. Uh, just this little jut out here, all the mud brick, um, and I think it looks really nice. And then heading up this way, I turned this little section of the sugarcane farm into a little mud brick section. So I've just kind of mixed the mud brick block around the village here and there, 
just so it looks like we used it from the very beginning. Hi hey guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm really just loving the new projects we've put in here. Uh, like I said, that house I think adds a lot and I love the, the new blocks. They're just awesome. I think the church is looking really nice up there and now that it's connected with the pathway, it definitely fits into the village more. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to be starting something a little bit new. So I got invited to an SMP server. The builders on there are great and they're already going crazy. And I haven't even started building on there yet because I've been just trying to get this video out and fit in a bunch of stuff just to try and make it a little more quality. Guys, I'm out of here. If you haven't already, please like this video. I would appreciate that. And definitely subscribe if you want to see more and if you're excited for that SMP server. See you guys.